This is a DualShock 3 remote, and I want to get it installed for my Windows 11 machine over here. So I am here on this website, game, uh, hardwaretester.com slash gamepad. And right now it shows you the screen. When I connect the remote like this into the USB, the screen gets updated and shows this. Uh, unfortunately, when I press the buttons on the DualShock, nothing gets registered. You should see numbers change on here if it's working right, but nothing is happening, meaning uh, this DualShock remote wasn't installed correctly. So, uh, let me go give this thing a try. I'm going to try to install DS4 Windows. I've never tried it. Hopefully, it doesn't give me a virus or anything, but uh, it was one of the first search, uh, first searches that was returned. Uh, let's see how I do this. I guess maybe download now. I'm gonna try Windows. Download that. Actually, maybe I'll just download the Windows version. Hopefully that's good enough. Didn't download, so let me allow it. So this is a 64-bit version. I didn't want to run the 32-bit because I'm running 64-bit Windows 11. Let me open this up. Uh, unzip the file. Where is the extract all? Oh, that's fine. Extract. I'll just extract and downloads. Where is the exe file? I guess it's DS4 updater. I don't see anything else. Or just DS4 Windows. Okay, let's try running that. Tells me I need to install .NET. No problem. Click OK. Takes you to a download link for .NET. It's currently automatically downloading, or I could have clicked on this link over here to download it, and you can see it has that. So let me install .NET. Installing. And again, I'm just trying to get this DualShock 3 remote installed. It's finishing up. Close. We'll go with that. Go back into DS4 window. Let's open DS4 windows again. Should run now. Okay, finally it's opened. Uh, I'm just gonna have it installed in my program folder. I still haven't plugged in my remote, I'm still waiting. Uh, so I don't need DualShock 4, I need <coughs> uh, DualShock 3 support. So I close that, click yes. So I need to go through all these steps. 
If you have a dual track four uh, remote, it's probably a little easier. But I'm trying to install this DualShock 3. And it's going through all the steps. This is not a tutorial. I'm just trying it for the first time. Uh, my kid wanted to play uh, Lego the Ninjago movie on Steam. So I guess this is over here. Do I click? It says VGM bus not installed. So confused. Clicking over here. Here. It says install complete. It just reappears. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm reinstalling it by accident. Let's cancel. Yes. I'm not on Windows 7, so I'm going to slip to step 4. Installing the next set of drivers. need to restart my system so it's gonna restart I don't know if I'm doing this right you just have to wait with me Okay, it's logged in. I don't know what I'm trying to load right now. That's my Steam account. Please don't hack it. Um, go back to downloads. Four, this four. This is a bit complicated, isn't it? Okay, so it says no controllers connected. Use sharing mode. Stop so now. You open this. Open gamepad tester. Let's go back to my. DS4 Windows. I'm going to plug this remote in finally. It took me a long time. Plugged it in. I heard a beep. Voila! Now you see that there's this DualShock thing on here. It keeps on saying connection was lost. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. Could be that the battery is at 0%, so it needs to charge. So maybe I'll let it charge first. Or if I close it. It's going haywire right now. 
closing it, that screen appeared. Looks like it's currently trying to charge. So, going back to here, if I open DS4 Windows, I was hoping it would just automatically recognize it. And this would change on Gamepad Tester. So it keeps on saying uh, uh, controller one was removed, connection was lost. So I'm at a standstill right now. I'm gonna let the remote charge and come back to this, but supposedly this works. I didn't read the instructions too well, you can tell, so I'm a total noob. Chew! So I'm stuck here. Um, one thing I'll mention is you can use DS4 Windows for, for DualShock. You can also use this other one that was created uh, by Nefaris. I think it still uses Nefaris' uh, toolkit anyways. Is the Nefaris SCP toolkit. If you download this, uh, you can probably get it running too using this. So I'll come back and fix this sometime because if it installed then this screen over here in gamepad tester would change and I could I could fool around with this but I'm getting no luck right now